Bride of Higara. This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. Looks like you could use a hand. Attention all Sobani, pick your targets and engage. Hello everyone. Hello, hello. This is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard to Starship and Normal Prize. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do some basic modding in Homeworld 1 Classic. And do keep in mind, what I'm going to be teaching you is only for Homeworld 1 Classic. Um, you could probably use a little bit in Cataclysm, but for Homeworld 2 and Homeworld Remastered, this will not actually apply because they use different software to modify their stuff. The concept will, will still work, but the actually editing in the software will not work at all. So keep that in mind. So in order to do this, there are two softwares that you guys are going to need. One is a software called you do win big w this baby right here and this is a um, a big extraction software that allow us to um, access the files in homeworld so we can modify them the way we want to and if you guys don't have this don't worry about it i'll have in the video description you guys can download it there and um and it should work exactly the way it is working on mine. And for those of you that are planning to mod on um, Linux or um, uh, an Apple machine, I have no idea if this software is gonna work because it was designed for Windows. You might be able to get it to work in some sort of Windows virtual machine, but that is that is beyond my, my technological capability because I don't know too much about those operating systems. So yeah, if you guys uh, have those, I wish you luck. I hope you can get it to work. <laughs> But anyways, the second software you will need is some sort of text editing software. And luckily, if you have Windows, um, Windows 7, 8, 10, and 11, I believe, all have built-in text editing software. It's called Notepad, and I use it all the time for like uh, for my stories and my um, my notes for my videos and whatnot. So to just check to see if you have Notepad, just go to your search, type in Note, and it should pop up. So. That's awesome. <laughs> and again, if you're an app, Apple or Linux, um, if you have some sort of text editing software, um, that part will work perfectly fine. And yeah, those are the two main softwares that I use to edit my um, my uh, my mods. And now uh, let's I'll teach you guys how to actually use it. So. The first thing that we do is once we have WinBig um, W uploaded, or not uploaded, but open, hit file, open big archive, and we will need to navigate over into where you have your homeworld installed. If you installed it from CD-ROM, like I did, you just go to your C drive, Sierra, homeworld, and it's this file right here. If you're playing on Steam, um, just go to your Steam directory, which for me would be a, on my E drive, because I have a separate hard drive for my Steam games. Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Homeworld Remastered should be in here somewhere. Uh, or actually, it's just called Homeworld. And then you would go to Homeworld 1 Classic, Data, and then there it is. So you'd extract it from there. So let's go ahead and get this loaded. So we'll load up the big file. And there we go. This is everything that is in the software. Every single script line, every single chip command. Uh, yeah, everything that we need to know. And then, um, Next thing we need to do is extract this so that we can have it, um, so that we have access to it and we can modify it. So before we do that, first thing you want to do is go back to your um, uh, your homeworld directory, and then you want to make a new folder and just call it just call it all homeworld files. There we go. And then we want to go to Actions, Extract All, which will extract every single item that's in that list. And then we want to navigate to where this is. And this could be a little bit difficult just because of how um, uh, how the layout is. Doo -doo -doo. Just got to go to C Drive, Sierra, 
Homeworld. All Homeworld files. And then here, as you can see, everything is being copied over. And once this is 100% complete, we'll have all the Homeworld files to our access. To access, not to our access. I know how words work. Alrighty. Now that everything is copied over, the next thing I normally like to do is I like to move the folder somewhere that is easy for me to access. I had to extract this into the Homeworld directory because that was the only way it, um, Windows allowed me to access it because when, it, when uh, making folders on the C drive, Windows likes to freak out and say, hey, you can't copy this, you don't have permission, which is another reason why I have separate hard drives to do all this stuff. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is take the all homeworld files and I'm just going to drag it over here onto my desktop. Alrighty, now that we have everything extracted over, the next thing we need to do is go to our homeworld directory. And then for you guys, since um, you don't have a, a mod installed yet, because we are making a mod, um, you will have to make a R1, you have to make a new folder and name it R1. And this will be the ones, and this, this is the directory that controls the, um, the Titan. It, it, uh, it controls all of their ships and all of their stats. We're going to be modifying a Titan um, destroyer. So you will go ahead and make that and ignore all of this in here because this is the homeworld hardcore mod stuff. And what we want to do is uh, we want to go into the R1 folder in the um, in the homeworld and the all homeworld files that we extracted, and as you can see, there are a lot of folders in here. Do not worry too much about the folders. We're not going to be messing with these. This is more for modifying the 3D models of the ships. So we want to scroll down until we see the dot ship files. The dot ship ones have all of the information that we can adjust, like build time, um, health, the guns. Um, has has all of the data for the actual ship. And we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see Standard Destroyer. This is what the game calls the normal destroyers in Homeworld. So you want to double click that just to make sure it, um, Notepad opens it up. It should. Uh, mine does by default. If not, then you'll just have to tell uh, your computer to open it up in Notepad or Notepad++, whatever you prefer, whatever texting software you use. And once that's done, go ahead and exit out of it. And what we want to do is um, we want to back up this file before we start modifying it so that we can make it our own mod. Because we want to keep all of these um, the way they are so we have some sort of base backup in case we do something wrong and we like mess up a ship so we can quickly throw the, um, the, the vanilla version in to fix it and then try to figure out what the heck we did wrong. <laughs> Part of the fun things of, of bug testing mods. So what I normally like to do is I like to make a new folder. I usually throw it on my desktop and we'll just name it. Let's say, um, uh, let's do homeworld destroyer mod. And then go ahead and open it up. And then once that's open, take that the destroyer in the um, in the R1 folder, and um, you want to copy it by holding down Control C, and then hit the folder and Control V it. So now we have a copy of that, and so that this one we can start messing around. So once we open this file, you will notice all of the different stats that our destroyer is associated with. We have the this guy up here, which is the name of the of the ship and the game and the coding part of the game. And this right here, the mechs data and log file, we don't have to worry about. This is stuff for the 3D mesh. Then we have the mass of the actual ship, which is in um, kilograms, I believe. So this is 1,800 kilograms. No, 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 it's tons. Never mind. So 1,800 tons. Stuff we don't really want to mess with because you could. You can really make the ships really wonky if you mess too much with this stuff. But again, it, this is a mod. Go crazy with it. If you want to make a really wonky ship, go for it. And then maximum velocity. This is how many meters per second that the ship can move. Max rotation. How many degrees per second it can rotate. And then basic ship stats. This is everything that you normally see in the build menu. 
So what the ship is, its class, is it a capital ship, um, how many RUs it costs to construct, uh, how many seconds it takes to build, how many, um, that's actually supposed to be that, I was messing around a bit earlier. Um, but that is, um, this is the maximum amount of health it has. I usually think of it as HP. This is the normal group size that the AI will use. This is its repair time. This is how much it gets repaired when um, out of combat, I believe. So it gets repaired 330 health points every 5 seconds. And in combat, it gets repaired 75 health, health points every 10 seconds. And in my mod, I have turned these off. I have set it to where... This is zero, and this is zero, so that um, it still runs the repair script, it just doesn't actually repair. <laughs> and then there's more and more and more that we can just talk about. And these down here are the guns, the ion beams, and all of the fun jazz, and then the uh, kinetic cannons. We might mess around a little bit in this um, video. but. To do a very, very simple mod, we are going to increase its health from 44,000 to 440,000. Give the destroyer a lot more health. So, just put a zero in, hit file save. Congratulations, you just made a homeworld mod. <laughs> that simple. <laughs> so with that done, we um, will now have to take this and transfer it over into our homeworld directory. Now, for those of you who have never modded before, you won't be seeing this R1, R2, and all this. This is from my mod. So what you will have to do is right click, new folder, name it R1, open it, and then I'll take the standard destroyer ship file that we made and put it in here. For me, I already have a mod in, so I actually have to do a extra step. And that extra step is that I need to make a backup file for my Homeworld Hardcore Destroyer. So for those of you that have an extra mod um, already installed and you want to know how to back it up, this is how you do it. So Homeworld Hardcore um, mod up. Vac up, sure, why not? We're vacking things up. And then you grab the standard destroyer. Um, and then we will move it into that folder. So now we have a backup of the modded destroyer from my mod, or from your mod. Oop, I hit the wrong button, my bad. And then now we take that standard destroyer and we put it into the, uh, the game. For those of you this should, who have never modded before, this should be the only file you see. You won't see all of these files unless you have my mod installed or your own mod. So. Now that we have successfully modded a destroyer, we need to get in the game and test it to make sure that the mod is working. So, for those of you um, launch Homeworld EXE, unless you're using the Splendor mod or my mod, then you'll launch this one, Homeworld SPL. And then we will get into the game. Ignore that, I adjusted the R1, which is not tied in. R1 is Kushan. So there we go. Now the Kushan has 440,000 health instead of 44,000 health. So that is how to make a very simple um, homeworld mod. And like I said, um, play around with things. Adjust adjust some of the settings, and just um, once you once you get done adjusting them, like here, I'll show you guys real quick. Just apply the settings, launch the game, and see what the results are and to just mess around with it. That's that's kind of how I learned. I started learning how to do it. So now that we have the mod in and it's working the way it's supposed to, we go into R1, Standard Destroyer, and then you could do stuff like this. Set the speed super high, make it super expensive to produce. Maybe make it take like one second to make. Um, a really good um, repair uh, thing. Save. And then launch the game. And as you can see, now one destroyer takes 1.3 million RUs to produce. It has over 30,000 velocity and still has 440,000 armor. So yeah, just mess around with it and kind of get it working the way you, you want it to do. And maybe, maybe you'll make your own homeworld mod where uh, 
Um, maybe destroyers will be super powerful compared to heavy cruisers, or missile destroyers will shoot like one missile at a time, but they do like 20,000 damage, like stuff like that. It's a, uh, it's something that um, just over time, as you learn to do just very basic modding, you'll get more and more comfortable in a make a, a better mods. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, please leave a like if you did. If you like what I do, uh, consider subscribing. And in the next part, I'm going to teach you guys how to um, modify single player and multiplayer maps without actually having modifying software. So that's going to be exciting. Hope you guys will stick around for that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. Please leave a like if you do. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. And I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until next time, this is Captain Sobon signing out. The Baker have arrived. Emergency hyperspace procedures initiated. The mothership must survive.